Hi everyone and welcome to Jewel Family Farms. I'm Scarlett and today we are going to be making some melted pork soap. So, this is glycerin and we got it at Hobby Lobby, but you can also get it on Amazon and possibly Michaels, but we haven't looked there. So, I was thinking about making Valentine's themed melted pork soap. So, let's first talk about what I'm going to be using. Obviously I'm going to be using the glycerin. Whoa. And we're going to be, I'm going to be using this scent called Blushing Orchid. The writing kind of faded away. It smells really nice. We get that from Brambleberry. Yes, we get it from Brambleberry. I'm pretty sure, okay, so. These two pigments right here are from Nature Soap. This is... Nur nurture Soap. Nurture Soap, sorry. Red Vibrance Mica. And really red pigment, also by Nutri Soap. <laughs> and I can't read the, but I'm pretty sure. But this is from Brambleberry. So. Oh, and glitter, which I don't know where that came from, but it's glitter. Brambleberry. <laughs> Brambleberry. <laughs> so we are going to. This is a kid friendly soap. So, I'm just going to cut it up and melt it. So, let's do that. Does it matter how I cut it? Nope, you can cut it any way you want to. Just cut it up in little small pieces. Don't cut towards yourself. I don't know why. And I do parents, that. you need to be with your children if they're going to be using this knife. Otherwise, you can, if they're a little bit younger, you need to cut the soap up for them and melt it to make sure that the soap's not too hot. Um, for the kids to work with. You don't you don't want this to melt to spill on them or no. splatter on them. And Scarlett does have on some gloves. She uh this this is um will not harm your skin. It might make it a little slippery but it won't do harm like uh, the, the other kind of soap that we make does. So you need to cut up in smaller pieces, little squares or Whatever shape. Little, littler pieces, yeah. Like this. Yep. Maybe a little bit smaller than that. You want them to melt down fast. There you go. Now I work with, uh, I cut with knives a lot. Because I, I cut up carrots for my bunnies. <laughs> so I know how to use a knife like a crystal. Mm -hmm. Does it matter how much I put in here? Well, we're going to use the whole block. Okay. Okay, we'll let her finish cutting that up and we'll then right we'll back. come back after uh, it's melted. Okay, so we are back. I have cut up the glycerin and we are going to be putting it in the microwave for one minute and then checking and stirring it. And then from then on, we are going to put it in for 30 seconds at a time, check it, and so on and so forth. So let's do that. Okay, so we have, or I have put it in for a minute, and let's stir in. I'll show you what it looks like. So, oh, it looks so pretty, <laughs> even though it's just clear. So this is what it looks like after being melted for one minute. It look, kind of looks like clear jello or something like that, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Alright, put it back in there. So we're going to put it back in here, in there for... Lay your spoon on this thing. Right. We're going to put it back in there for 30 seconds and then check it again. Okay, so it's, it's stuck. It's been 30 seconds and it's almost completely melted now. <laughs> look at that. So, we're going to put it in for another 30 seconds, and hopefully it'll be melted by then. And 30 seconds later, I'm pretty sure it's, it, it, okay, again, it's almost completely melted down. Pretty much just looks like, 
water. Okay. So, we'll just come back when it's completely melted. <laughs> Alright, so it is completely melted. Well, so we are going to pour it into these three containers. So, I'm going to pour it into this one first. Please be careful while doing this, since this is very hot. And that should be enough for the color that we're going to make that. And just mm -hmm. pour a little bit into each one. Leave a little bit in that, the one you have in your hand. We might not have enough. Yeah, we will. That's good. Don't need much. Alright, so. Now it's time for the colorants. So, I forgot to mention we are going to be using this titanium dioxide for white. Yes. Right, so we're going to be using this teaspoon. It's a quarter of a teaspoon. Quarter, a quarter of a teaspoon. Okay. Just make sure it's just, yeah, make sure you don't need much. Okay, let's stir that. Might need a little bit more of the white. Wait a second, keep stirring and see what happens. Probably should take this over here. It'll turn pretty white. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I think you want it just a little whiter, so you might want to put just a tad more in. Maybe about half of that spoon. Half of it? Yeah. So you go ahead and pour that in, the mold. Do we need to scent it first? Yeah, you can put some scent in there. Okay, so again with the blushing orchid. Then we need to like just a drop. Oh, oh. Keep going. That's probably good. It's gonna smell very nice. Blushing orchid is a very. Um, it reminds me of Valentine's Day. Floral, very sweet, nice smell. It's very, very pretty smell. <laughs> All right, go ahead and pour that in. Oh, there's a flower petal in it. Mm -hmm. Where's the spatula? <laughs> um, I have to go get you one. You can't use those. Oh, there might be one in there. Is there a spatula in there? Okay. Okay, so now we are going to be putting glue, glue, <laughs> glitter. <laughs> We're going to be putting glitter on the white silk. So. Get it in this thing and tap, 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 tap. It's gonna be very glittery. But we, I love myself some glitter. This is probably enough. Yep. That's very glittery. Just, just set it in there. Oh, okay, whatever you wanna do. And we gotta tell what that is. We forgot to tell what that oh, is. Oh, this is Nutri Soap Super Sparkles. I 
It, there it is. There is There's glitter on. everywhere. <laughs> Here, put the top on it so you don't spill it. Yes, we would not want that to happen. No. Glitter everywhere. Okay, so. Now, we are going to be coloring. Do you need to go get the one out of the microwave? This is the one that was Oh, on. it is? Okay. All right. I already set up again. I already set up a little bit again. All right, go melt it down again. We'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to be putting the colorants into this one. So, which one do you think is lighter? Um, probably this one. This one? Mm -hmm. So that is really red. Mm -hmm. well, let me open it. My hands are too slippery. Hold up. <laughs> you can take your gloves off. You don't really need them for this kind of soap. I'm just keeping you from getting fragrance and coloring on you. I'll live. <laughs> Do you need some help again? Yeah. <laughs> Struggles of making soap. <laughs> <laughs> some really red. Mm -hmm. It don't look red on camera, does it? No, it kind of looks like a pink color. Tr trust but me. It's, it's really cherry red. Trust me, it's red. <laughs> Where's your measuring spoons? Oh, okay. So just use okay, um, and then use a, a littler spoon than, the, than that one. And then we have this one. All right, go ahead and put some in. Which one is lighter? That one. This one. I think that one's lighter. Okay. So, which one shall we use? Uh, that little one right there. This one. Yep. Try that one. See how that works. You have to work fast because this stuff sets up really quick. Yep. You don't have to scrape it off. Just put it in there and see. I should, yeah. So pretty. I need to get a, a spatula. Yeah. I don't know what what I'll do with it. It's already right here. Here, put that. Oh, okay. Does that work better? Yep. No, f no colorants left Make behind. Make sure you get the bottom really well because sometimes it sticks to the bottom. Scrape your sides really good. No colorants left behind. That's right. Have to be used. You better hurry up to setting up. When it starts getting like that, it's setting up. Oh, look how pretty that is. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of like chocolate. You like, can always reheat it if it's starting to set up though to make it so you can uh, stir it a little bit better. Why don't you do that? Why don't you heat it up for about 15 seconds so that you can make sure that those colors are... We'll be back. So I warmed it up and I'm going to stir it one more time and then put it into the mold. So let's do that. Go really slow because you don't want that glitter to go away. That is a pretty color. Yeah, I like that. It does remind me of, of copper. Or like chocolate. Yeah. It's like baking, like baking a cake. Mm -hmm. I, remember, I remember baking a cake. Put it in quick or it's going to set up on you. I remember baking a cake once and everyone liked it. That was fun. Yeah. A long time ago though. What was that icing you put on it? Butterscotch. Butterscotch or buttercream? Uh, either one. Oh no, there's two different things. Okay. Uh, buttercream. I think it was um, buttercream. Or yeah, it was buttercream. Go put that over in the sink. All right, now she's gonna have to melt your your other one here. Yep, <laughs> it's set up completely. <laughs> Oi. Uh, I can't really stir it. Can I just 
Mm -hmm. So, we ha I have reheated it, and we're going to put the highlights in it. So we are going to be using this really red fragrance from Nutri Soap. Nope, colorant. Colorants. <laughs> and yeah. I doubt we need much of this one. Yeah, you don't need much of that one. Really red. Mm -hmm. Like it's unbelievably red. <laughs> that noise. <laughs> wow, it's so pretty. This reminds me of like cherries or like cherry blossoms or something along that lines. Those lines, I mean. <laughs> Super pretty. Look at that. So. Super pretty. Okay. You got mixed up? Mm-hmm. All right, put it in for it. Set it up. Uh-oh. The brass color kind of overpowered it. That's okay. It'll look pretty once you cut it. I'm sure it will. Mm-hmm. Oops, you just... Oops. <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes. Mm. Yeah, you gotta work this stuff really fast. That's the only downfall to it with uh, kids, you know, it's, it sets up so fast. Alright, don't put that in. <laughs> the thing came off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't suggest using good um, wash rags for this, <laughs> but my grandmother has like a collection of them, so <laughs> I don't think I'll need to put this in the microwave. Nope, just put it over in the sink. So we are going to let this sit up and we'll check back in when we cut it. Okay, so how long will this take to set up? Okay, so. We got some more clear glycerin, and let's just put our fragrance in here. That'll probably be enough. See how it smells. See if it smells good. You can smell it good. Yeah, it smells good. Okay. Do you think you have enough in there, or do you need to add a little more? We'll see. Mm, I can smell it from here. Maybe I added it a little good. too much. No, it's fine. Mm, it smells good, huh? Yeah. Okay. Move your bottle out of the way so you don't knock it over. There you go. I think it's mixed up enough. Okay. Let's pour it very slowly. Make sure you get it all, all over everything. That's okay. You want it to cover it the whole top. That looks nice. Mm -hmm. Use your spatula. There you go. There we go. So now we are going to take this lavender mica from Brambleberry and um, just put it on top of the clear, just as a little accent. This is like the cutest little tool ever. <laughs> Rar, I'll eat you.
careful, don't, don't put it up sideways at all. It's kind of hard to get in every little crack. I know. It's fun now. <laughs> Whoops. I need to go get you some uh, alcohol to spritz the top. Okay. more now. That's kind of a lot. I can stop. I'm just going to add a little bit more just to get the sides. And there we go. Alright. Beautiful. Let me go get so, you some alcohol. I'll be right back. Yep. Okay, let's put on some alcohol. You want to be very careful with this. You don't want it splattering in your face. That should be good. And we'll come and we'll come back when we cut the soap. Okay, so the soap is done and we're going to take out a mold. Okay, so very carefully. I don't want to come out. I'll help you. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. No. Well, just a trick to it. It's <gasps> pretty. That is pretty. There you go. Wow. A little piece sticking out. Oh no, did I get? Oh no, I got them in on the bottom. You got that's because it's on the camera here. You're sitting on the camera. <laughs> Okay. There we go. That'll be good. Mm -hmm. Let me fix the camera. Nope. Or I can just put it into focus. <laughs> there we go. There you go. So here we have my grandmother's beautiful soap cutter. <laughs> okay. I love cutting soap. I find it very fun. I don't want to cut it. You might need to do it sideways once you get this one cut. There we go. go. Oh my gosh. That's really pretty. This one's really nice too. Why don't you turn it sideways, see if it cuts a little bit better. Okay. There you go. Oh, probably should lift this up first. Make sure you get it all the way. You got it all the way down. It's back up. Okay. Good. Pigment is getting everywhere. <laughs> oh, all the ex 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 excess is falling off now. So. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. This is probably the prettiest soap I've made. <laughs> you do make some pretty soap. That's for sure. Yes, I'm good at picking colors. <laughs> Probably because I picked like pick like the most random and vibrant colors. Oops. Good thing it's lined up. <laughs> I think I put 
pretty that is. Very pretty. Yeah. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That look good. It's, it's nice when you make quality work. Yep. It's very good to do. Good job. Might be your little string off with that red red rag there. There you go. Last cut. Pretty. That was pretty small though. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Why don't you cut that one there in half again? We'll use that for a sample. Okay. Oops, turn it the other way. Nope. We went long ways. <laughs> it was the long way. This way. Okay, so okay. There you go. No, it doesn't want to go through that bottom layer. Nope, it does not. I forgot I should have turned it sideways. There we go. Okay. Oh, you get a really good look at it right here. Oh, nice. Oh, it's, you can see the glitter in it. Mm -hmm. All righty, we'll be back in a second. Yep, yep. So thank you for watching and come on. <laughs> if you'd like to see more of our soaps, you can go to the Facebook page and look up Jewel Family Farms. Sorry, Jewel Family Farm, no S on the end. And uh, all of our soaps are, are there. You can uh, PM me, uh, message me, what you know, whatever. So you can contact me through that. So anyway, thank you for being here and uh thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe and we hope you enjoyed the video and what did you name the soap princess uh, <laughs> <laughs> valentine dream valentine dream so that'll be posted up on facebook today all right thank you